Hi. My 100 days of um, abstinence from television and from sugar have um, been over for about two weeks. And um, I cheated maybe six, seven times, two cheats uh, for my birthday. And then um, on spring break, I took some um, little sabbatical and um, turned on the TV a few times as I was vacationing, which you would think, why would I even watch TV as I was vacationing? Um, but for the most part, I abstained for te from television and uh, sugar for a really long time. Um, I'm a little disappointed to say that since the two weeks, I've gained probably four or five pounds now that I've been eating sugar again. Um, I also had gone off coffee during that time and I noticed that um, I got kind of skinny and I'm not a fan of skinny. I like thin and slim, but um, not skinny and it made me realize how much, um, how many calories I drink in cream. So I'm working on that. Um, at any rate, um, so it was it was great to be off of television um, after I finally made my turn because quite honestly it was um, one of the most difficult things I've ever had to give up which sounds kind of pathetic and a little ridiculous um, but it's true um, if you read any of my blogs early on you would um, <laughs> see how pathetic I was <laughs> and then I was on the Virgin Deers and I wanted to watch television and, um, so anyway I am um, pleased to say that um, I've gotten some discipline with that which is really good so I've kind of you know um, I actually didn't turn on the television or eat any sugar for several days after the hundred days just because um, I really didn't want to I was kind of a little uh, you know afraid to go back into my old ways, I thought, oh, am I going to fall back into it? And, um, and I haven't, you know, I mean, there's kind of been a little, all right, a little bit maybe, <laughs> but I'm aware, you know, so it's, I took some liberties and I've watched a lot of movies since then. Um, and I've had, um, the sugars, you know, here or there, but at any rate, um, discipline, I guess, is, is something that I, I did obviously get out of it. I wasn't doing it to get discipline out of it. It was a discipline in and of itself, but, um, that's the whole, um, reason that I am meaning to even come to talk to you tonight is because of discipline. Um, the, so I bought a bike, as you know, and I found out that I loved it. And, um, and I haven't been running in some time, and um, and then I decided tonight that I was going to go running, and I was actually going to go to gym, the gym, and I didn't do that, and I just um, I went outside. It was very beautiful, and um, I took a run, and I was kind of you know just really having a hard time getting my <laughs> my motor running and um you know walked for a while and then ran and walked and ran and then was like i'm going back and then i finally just started um getting into it and um so i realized that once i started feeling nauseous that i was doing well and um and then when my head felt like it was really hot and i was um needing water i was you know right on um I was still doing well, but I was probably going to need to stop soon. Anyway, the point with that is um, I realized that I need to, um, you know, maybe shouldn't have had those brownies and ice cream <laughs> for the past two days. Um, you know, anyway, it's always good to have a good, strong run, a solid run to let you realize you need to work on your diet. And um, anyway, afterwards... Um, and during it, it just, when I was finally, um, running, I just was really, um, glad to be doing it again. And I went and afterwards I was just resting on my car and leaning back. And I just, there was that moment where I just felt disciplined and grateful for discipline and that I had made that choice. So that is what I'm going to read to you. And the verse um, from Hebrews 12:11 came to mind. Um, it says, "No discipline, 
no discipline seems pleasant at the time but painful later on however it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it so i just was really feeling that um verse and it's so true that who wants to um you know do anything really <laughs> Um, but once you get into it, it's, it's so great. So it's just, um, it was a great reminder of, um, that I do love to work out and I love to, um, to experience the, the fruitfulness of a good run and it gets me in a good headspace and, um, gets my diet better and gets my mental attitude better. And it's just, you know, I can't tout it enough. It's really great. So, um, Anyway, so that is that. Um, most of what I guess I really wanted to say to you is I'm just, um, I think, going to start to try to be disciplined. And the irony of that is that I've been really disciplined for over 100 days. <laughs> and I've taken a couple weeks off. Um, not that I've taken a couple weeks off, but I'm just reminded of this verse. And I've, um, so I'm just going to employ it because it's, at least I'm going to try to employ it. Um, that is my intention. So I guess you have to have commitment needs to be coupled with discipline in order to actually have any real fruit. So um, that is my plan, the commitment and discipline coupling plan. Um, so anyway, I just am um, going to promote no sugar, um, no cream, and no television because um, it was really great for me and I wished that there were some times when I wanted to blog about it and just talk about what I'd been doing and progress and um, but I would just you know I've even thought what was I doing you know what did I do um, for a hundred days if I didn't watch TV and at the same time you know I just I worked a lot and I um, progressed towards some personal things and um, you know, just worked so much to the point where when I was finished with what I was doing, I was just so um, beat that um, I couldn't even couldn't even blog. So I just go to bed. Um, but anyway, it was a um, it was a good experience. So I definitely recommend the long term of the hundred days um, because it took me quite a while, and I realize I'm saying I'm a lot. So <laughs> all right, peace out.